And Omar Villafranca is here to talk about this nationwide search. So, Omar, what have you learned about this guy, Tad Cummins? Uh, well, Vlad, we learned from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation that he does not have a criminal record in Tennessee, but they believe that he is on the run right now and that he is armed with two handguns, so they do consider him armed and dangerous. And they're saying if anybody might have seen them or seen the vehicle they were in, which was a silver Nissan Rogue, that they're asking people to call 911 uh, and actually give them tips. Another thing that they're also realizing, uh, some investigators are telling us, that they believe that Mr. Cummings had been planning this for a while. They believe he had possibly been grooming Elizabeth for this uh, kidnapping, and they believe that he might have actually been watching some of these survival shows uh, for something like this, a scenario that he's currently in. So then, Omar, uh, other than you know going to the media, showing their pictures uh, everywhere, what are investigators doing to track these two down? Well, Emory, when it comes to some of those the Amber Alerts, at this point they're they're, they're relying on on tips, and they're saying there is a shockingly amount of low tips. Uh, for, for people in this area, in Tennessee and Alabama. They don't know where these people are because they're not getting a lot of tips. Another thing they're also doing is uh, uh, they're trying to find out if maybe a cell phone will ping here or there, but investigators are telling us both the cell phones have been shut off. So if anybody turns their phone on, they could possibly ping off a tower and find out where they are by triangulating it. But that's not happening. So right now they're kind of uh, coming up on a little bit of a dead end when it comes to tips. But they're, they're asking anybody. If they see anything, let them know. And interesting enough, there was a case late last year uh, in Tennessee where there was a, a young girl who was also missing. So they were encouraging people in some of these rural areas. If you go around and maybe take an ATV out on your property, maybe go out there and look. And if you see anything suspicious, let law enforcement know. That's what broke a previous case open. So they're telling people, hey, if you haven't gone out on your property uh, where there's plenty of uh, nooks and crannies to hide here in Tennessee and in Alabama, go out there, take a look. If you see anything, call them because they think that could break the case wide open. You're right. There'd be all kinds of campsites and fishing sites and all that sort of stuff. And I'm sure these two must stand out. They're a bit of an odd couple. That's absolutely right. Disturbing story, Omar Villafranca. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Omar. We appreciate it.